Round seven of the 2021 DTM, the first race of the weekend at the Nürburgring and championship leader Kelvin van der Linde on pole position, but under a strong challenge from Philip Ellis on the run into turn one. Ellis in the Mercedes drawing alongside, getting his nose in front and then trying to go around the outside. But Kelvin van der Linde, braver on the brakes, held the lead. Marco Wittmann then third on the grid, winner at Zolder, coming under attack from the Mercedes of Lucas Stoltz, a guest driver up to third place with a terrific start. Max Gotts and Daniel Hunkadea also getting past the BMW. At the head of the pack though, going into turn four, it was Kelvin van der Linde with a clean start, now starting to get away from the pack in the midfield. It was a tight scramble as some drivers out of position tried to make their way through the pack down into the hairpin for the first time and there was contact with Max Boot getting spun around after light contact from behind with Lucas Auer, Mike Rockenfeller who would qualified down in 16th place having to take evasive action dropping to the back of the pack as well. Book was out of the race and so too unfortunately another of the guest drivers this weekend Christopher Haas safety car came out and on the restart it was Calvin van der Linde versus Philip Ellis once again and Ellis again getting his nose in front on the run down towards turn one half a length clear a full length clear but still on the outside line and the Audi coming back down the inside to gain the place just behind Lucas Stoltz then trying to get himself up into second position on his DTM debut he swung around the outside at turn two and got his nose in front it looked like he got second place but then Philip Ellis down the inside to get that position back right behind Kelvin van der Linde and a good restart for Marco Wittmann who got a couple of the places back in the BMW to promote himself back up to fourth place but there were lots of incidents during the course of the race Alex Albon and Arjun Miney having contact Albon out of the race who'd eventually retire with a puncture and on their debut in the DTM Porsche struggled Michael Amamala after a difficult qualifying contact bodywork damage and out of the race for him as well the key moment in the race was when Lucas Stoltz came out of the pits, rejoined right alongside Philip Ellis in what would potentially be the battle for second place. Alex Albon still hadn't pitted. He proved a very wide Ferrari and Philip Ellis had to take to the escape road to get past. However, he was in danger of getting a penalty, so he had to let the Ferrari back through. And in doing so, he also lost a place to Lucas Stoltz, who came past on the run down to turn one. So frustration for Philip Ellis and further back a frustrating day for Liam Lawson, second in the championship, defending in the middle of the pack. And the Ferrari then spun around after contact from behind from the Audi of another of the weekend's guest drivers, Marcus Finkelhock, who would later get a penalty for that. The AB team having a pretty exciting day with Calvin van der Linde at the front of the pack. Mike Rockenfeller charging through to fourth place from 16th on the grid and Finkelhock involved in the action as well. But it was Calvin van der Linde's race from the word go. He controlled the pace all the way through and in the end won by over four and a half seconds to pick up his third victory of the 2021 campaign. And with Lawson out of the points, he further extended his points lead. Yes, boys. Thank you. Thank you. Amazing race. A win again. Congratulations. Save fuel and collect pickup. Very, very good, Kelvin. Great job. Great job, man. Lucas Stoltz came home in second place with Philip Ellis completing the podium. For Kelvin van der Linde, though, a third victory of the season and perfect point scoring going into the eighth round of the championship here at the Nürburgring.